Hey yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing off my Rebel and Resistance armies for 2018. This was pre-recorded in summer, but I'm only getting around to filming it on September 25th. So this was recorded for a while past. Uh, however, I am free. I finally have time to update it and show it to you guys. So this army is going to consist of a whole bunch of minifigures and a couple of ships. First off, let's start with the original trilogy era minifigures. On the left here, we have Bodhi Rook from Rogue One. We have Lando from Episode 5. Jin, Cassian, Baze Malbus, and Sheard Imwe from Rogue One, obviously all very iconic people. We got Luke Skywalker in his Episode 6 outfit and Han Solo as well, and those are going to be the most notable figures in the back. We are going to have 27 of the generic Rebel Troopers. These are mostly from the Battle Pack. Some of them I kind of customized a little bit, we're also going to have some from the Rebel Alliance um, Trooper Battle Pack itself with the speeder bike. So overall, a pretty decently sized Rogue One army. All these guys were pretty much used in my Scarif mock. So if you guys have seen my Scarif mock, you'll definitely remember some of these figures being in that mock itself, but in total, we do have 36 of them, which is really cool. Moving on to the back of that, we're going to have the X-Wing set. This is the most recent rendition that LEGO has done of the X-Wing set, and I absolutely love it. I did a review on it, so if you guys want to go ahead and check out my in-depth thoughts about the set, definitely go ahead and check the X-Wing out on my channel. But this set is just amazing. It's so sleek looking. It's got some really cool functions to it, and it looks amazing, so I can't really complain. Moving Moving to the left of that, we have the Kessel Run Millennium Falcon from Solo, a Star Wars story. This is the Millennium Falcon before Han and Chewie did accommodate it and take it from Lando. It's Lando's swank mobile. It's pretty much like a really, really high-end sports car in terms of Millennium Falcons, but this thing's awesome. And then moving to the left here, we do have the Y-Wing set, which was a part of the Rogue One line of releases, which is really cool. I'm actually a really big fan of this. I'm pretty sure it's almost minifigure scale, which looks awesome. Overall, it is a fantastic set, and I definitely recommend you guys go ahead and pick one up and now moving to the sequel era of minifigures generic wise we're going to have about 57 figures and we're going to have Ray, we have two renditions of Ray. actually. One's going to be from the First Order at, -AT set, or ATM-6, excuse me. And the other one's going to be from the Octo set. We're going to have Finn, and then we're also going to have Poe Dameron's. One's going to have his head set on from the Ski Speeder set, and the other one's going to be from another set. And we're also going to have Admiral Emmett. And then moving back here towards the generic figures, like I said before, we have somewhere around 51 or 52 regular generic figures. Most of them are going to be from Episode 7 Battle Pack. However, some are going to be from the newer line, specifically the Last Jedi line of sets. But as you guys can see, it's a pretty decent army, and they obviously were used in my crate mock, so you'll definitely recognize some of those. But that's going to kind of wrap up this short little overview of my entire Rebel and Resistance army. Like I said before, my previous Imperial and First Order Army videos, I hope that over time my collection can grow. Definitely, I want the Resistance to have a huge army by the end of this year, or maybe even the end of next year, depending on how everything goes. But that's going to wrap it up, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Definitely go ahead and smash that like button. If you're brand new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Stay tuned this Saturday for Castle Segment, and I will see you all later. Peace.